and girls, children of all ages, we've been waiting for this one. Oh yeah. So this ball here is probably one of the better performing symmetrical pearls on the market. If you don't know what ball I'm talking about, it's the Summit Peak from Storm. The Summit was really good. Joey loved his. Summit Peak, I've watched Quentin throw this for months. Months. And it looks pretty good. I have not thrown one yet. I have watched, well, watched quite a few people throw it in this ball. In my opinion, Storm knocked it out. This ball's great. I thought, I thought you didn't smell balls. I get recommendations from people. Oh, okay. All right. So now what Quinn is going to do, he's going to try to play the most areas where typical wing shot bowlers play. He's going to target 10 in between the first and second, the second and third arrow. He's going to target the third arrow. He's going to go in between the third and fourth. If he's feeling froggy and wants to continue, we'll let him. But I doubt it. It's Quinn. Ready? Yeah. We'll see if he gets. Right. We'll see if he gets past the third and fourth. Oh, okay. I'll let this ball show you what it's capable of. So we're gonna start twenty right up the board. I'll set that strong there. Or even at you. Okay, so that ball was very off the back. Um, I was a little fast with it, it was a little outside. I just wanted to see, that was my first shot with this ball in this plane. Just wanted to see what it would give me. So we'll stay there, put a little bit on it. Still a little fast. Um, Pressure house shot, symmetrical pearl. I could definitely slow it down a little bit and it would strike a lot. So we're gonna try that. Not throw it as fast. Still staying at 20. All right, nine count. Nine count is what I'm getting here. Personally, not where I throw the ball. Definitely could play this. Just not my strong. Even though it should be. Yeah, but your release, you should kill it. I should. All right. You know what? For the naysayers, I'll try it one more time. Okay, now you can go. Sorry. Alright. We're gonna jump 25. We're gonna stay in 25. Get this in between second and third. Put a little bit on it. It's a little bit straighter up the lane than I wanted to get it. Um, love this ball for the forgivability that it has. Symmetrical pearl, revs, this ball particularly, revs on the back end, but it's just that. It's a symmetrical pearl, so it's gonna skid, and then once it gets to that down lane or friction, it's gonna rev up and go. I can miss inside, I can miss outside. Obviously, if I'm right on my target, it's great. That 
There's better bowlers out there. No. <laughs> well, that's so. We're not out here to be professional bowlers. No. The average person that watches our channel. Right. You know, they bowl one or two times a week. That's true. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, that was a little bit outside. Didn't come through it quite that great. Um, still struck. Like I said, it revs up on that back end. Takes off if you're around it a little bit. I wouldn't say it's crazy as far as the angularity. <clears throat> um, but that's what I like about the ball. So I'm going to move 30. Not coming through the ball well. It's very forward. Okay, so I'm standing 30. But I know it comes back. I think you're, I think you're forcing the angle there you too much. You need to get it out earlier. Okay, so that ball was inside. I was standing 30. I got around it a little bit. Um, kind of forced that back end motion to get in that pocket. Hence why I left the seven pin. So I'll do one more ball from 30. Get this ball out a little bit further. So you saw one inside, one outside. I haven't left a split though. So. For a symmetrical curl that's right. Right. Because it's not crazy off the back end. Personally, I don't like the HK22. I don't like how responsive it is. I think this is a really good ball. Especially for a symmetrical, or for a curl. Um, I feel the same way about Motive though too. They're a little bit smoother for pearls. further inside I'll stand 37 I'll see what happens I'm not throwing the ball great right now maybe a little bit slower add a loft or something like that would carry um, not where I like to play the ball on a house shot I just don't feel comfortable As you saw, if you don't really manipulate the ball, it's great up the boards. So, say, I don't know, probably average league bowler, because they don't have a ton of revs, you know, they go up the boards, it's gonna face right up to the pocket. Um, it's definitely the edge ball. It's like it blends in, in my opinion. You can force it to shape more. You can. You don't really have to get this one out to the drive for any shape. That's what right. I'm right. I think it's but you can play better. that edge. Right. I think it's one of the better symmetrical pearls on the market right now. 
So I'll try to add a little bit of loft. See what happens. Ball was too far outside. So one more time, get the ball a little bit earlier outside, but don't get it out as far. Um, so that was from 37 with my feet. You were targeting what pair? I was targeting the one three pocket. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. Anyway. I'll go to my happy spot. Um, this is a little bit fresher of a house shot than what I was throwing when I got my 299. So I'll stand 25. Sorry, Perry. It's the best out there. Sorry, I just have to do this because our pro shop owner, James, does not like Storm nearly as much as I do. Not that I dislike Storm. And not that I dislike I just haven't found one since the absolute that matches up well for me. All right, so 26. I'm through a dipshit. This ball is a lot better than how I'm throwing it right now. <laughs> I love this ball. It is my favorite ball in my bag, currently. Probably since I've been doing these videos. I've never cared for symmetrical balls. This one's just different. You see the edge. Yeah. It seems like there is an edge there though. Is it just me or did it double reach? Huh?
Alright, so I'm currently standing 24. You listen to me. I had a 299. Playing right there almost. No. I was deeper. Was that also third game though? Yes, it was, so. Ball drives well. For sure. Like I said, one of the better symmetrical curls on the market today. James is always great. But it's a storm ball. You just said I don't like storms. Oh, so throw one. I'm glad I didn't because I would have missed out on the Brunswick. Just like that road, that looks so good right now. And I might have to get one to compare the two. I didn't hear you, so. The road. I don't think, I think the Summit Peak is better than the room. But that's just, I, I haven't seen it much. It just right. came out. It's right. out. It, it does look good. Early makes it look good. A lot of bowlers right now look, make it look good. Correct. But, you know, it's one of those balls you don't expect much out of either. Lower end, symmetrical for a whole ball. No, it's high. Alright, whatever. I thought you did snowball, though. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, boys and girls, children of all ages, that would be that brand new Summit Peak. Well, it's been about eight months. No. Went into the Summit Peak here, Three. taking his damn time. But now he's finally got how many games? Oh, over 80. Over 80. Just another typical storm ball? No! Okay. Alright. So the attention star is good? Yes. Summit Peak's good? This is better. Okay. All right. Performance-wise? Okay. I think that's better for. Better. Well, yeah. Well, A, it has an AI core. Correct. Technology in it. B, it's got a stronger pulse curve. Because the core isn't really bad. Still, well, it's got a better core. I'm not a big fan of the attention star. So over 80 games. Oh yeah, for sure. Was it worth your initial investment? Uh-huh. If you had to buy another one to fill that symmetrical pearl spot in your bag, would you? Oh yes. So we run a pro shop, this is what we do. Someone comes in, they're looking for a symmetrical pearl piece. They bowl three, two to three times a week. Typical lead bowl, is this gonna be the one you recommend? Yes. I feel like it is a little bit stronger for the piece. But for a lead bowler, it's almost perfect. Yeah, it's close. It's close. Because, like, you have the Nuclear Forge. You have the Brunswick Endeavor. That's a low end for me. It punches way above its weight cut. Okay. But you, there's a lot of options on the market. It's I think this is cool. one of the better ones. I agree. I agree. Brunswick Endeavors are up there. It's one of my favorites right now. The Nuclear Forge. Brunswick Endeavor is just a little bit better than the Nuclear Forge. That hurts me to say. It does. And then you have Summit Peak. Right. That's one from every brand, the big three brands. I think this provides more forgivability than its competitors. In my eyes and my hands. I've thrown his Endeavor. Like I said before, I don't care for the HK22 and how it responds to the friction. So if you have spots on the lane, down lane, it's going to go. I don't think this ball does that. I can miss. I think I think the Endeavor is very good. I think the Nuclear Forge is too. I like that the Nuclear Forge is rounder than the Endeavor. And I like that. Yeah. That's what I like about your Summit Peak too. Right. I like that it's a little rounder. It's a little bit more easy to manipulate. Right. You're not going to have to worry about over hitting when it's going to take off on you, where the Endeavor you do. But right. what I like about the Endeavor is it allows me to play parts of the lane where nobody else is playing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so you would recommend it? Yeah. If you had to buy another one, you would? So Grey Ball. This is one of the best ones right now. Yeah. I agree. But I don't like Storm. Right? Right, right. Whatever. So full of shit. One thing we all do agree on, besides the fact that the Summit Peak is really good, all five. Best jerseys in the game. You click the URL discount code below. That will take you right to Bolify. It will save you a couple of bucks on your next jersey purchase. You wouldn't mind. Like, share, subscribe, hit the post notes. Go ahead, bubba. Knock it out. <laughs> Go ahead. We're going to wait. Oh, why? Go ahead. I was just mimicking. Uh huh. Go ahead. If you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. And we'll see you next time. I do it better.